Do I say good morning, comrades? I haven't said it in forever. Why not? I don't know. Because yeah, we just go straight to the point. But in this case... Good morning, comrades. Yeah. <laughs> and <laughs> patriots. Patriots. <laughs> patriots. <laughs> yeah, so for many people who have seen it, um, this is obviously not going to be an onboard unless your E46 is ready. Maybe we'll take it for a spin. My E46 is a bare shell at Manheller right now getting yeah. painted. So I, don't, <laughs> I mean, it'd be Fred Flintstone with no wheels. <laughs> That's going to come uh, later. No, this is going to be a, um, quite an important video, quite... A big video on its own because we have a couple of things to announce, to say, to explain. Um, and this is a video, I would say, for OGs who have witnessed the building of Apex, yeah. the whole story of Apex from 2017 on. Picked, in fact, you know what's funny is I picked you up in the airport in the predecessor to that. Because yes. remember, that one got totaled and then we bought this and its replacement. Yeah, so I, yeah. I picked you up in the, at the airport in the first one of those. Yep. Yeah, exactly. Um, and um, at some point we had the so-called the summit where we would sit down with a bottle of whiskey, yes, empty it, yeah. talk about things. <laughs> <laughs> and today we will be doing the same just without whiskey because as you can see, we're significantly fitter. We're just like ripped over here. You know? Yeah, you're more fit. You, you lost how many kilos? I lost about 25 kilos, 50 pounds. It's over the last year and something. Uh, it's been since April. Yeah. So 2020 combined was probably 40 or 50 kilos. <laughs> I don't know. I no. I mean, I, I was total. I've lost total of twenty twenty five, yeah. and it's all been since April of this year. Okay. Yeah. Because okay. I went up and down. Yeah. So I've been up and down. Yeah. Anyway, as in uh, usually, uh, etc. We start to get a bit distracted. Let's not do that. We will be talking today about a couple of changes. But since many of you have missed Robert, where have you been? So we'll get to the main point. You'll stick around. You can I've skip been, to the end of the video. I've been everywhere. Yeah. yeah, we've actually, we took some time the last year and a half to just enjoy things as a family. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we, I think I did a video with you in the E30 when I got lost and didn't know how to get through the gate because it had been so long and I it forgot. It was one of the opening weekends. Exactly. Yeah. And so, you know, I told you that we had the hurricane in Florida, so we had to go tear everything out of the house and take care of that. Uh, you know, there's been... Some negative things with Tiffany broke her leg and hurt mm -hmm. her leg, and she just had another surgery a couple mm -hmm. um, last month uh, to try and fix that again. But more than that, we we spent time in Florida. We spent time in the sun, uh, been walking, working out, hiking, eating better, uh, less alcohol. You know, which which that's why probably why we don't have a, have one right here. <laughs> Not no alcohol, less alcohol. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Let's don't get too carried away. Yeah. But um, you know, we we so we spent time in Florida boating. Uh, been taking the kids fishing, shark fishing, uh, you know, uh, some really neat stuff. And then we, we spent time in Italy. Mm -hmm. You know, we, we had a boat that was in Florida. We shipped it over to Italy, had it completely refit in 1968 Bertram, had it completely refit. We took it down to the island of Capraia. Just a lot of fun things like that with the kids. They're eight and 10 years old right now. And you get to a point in life where you say, okay, you know, you, you look at so many of your, your friends that might be a little bit older than you. And they say, hey, man, you know, I've got my kids just graduated high school and now I just retired. Mm. And now I have all this time on my hands and my kids are off at college or they're off starting a family. And I'm sitting here at home tinkering on stuff because I don't have time with the kids. And both Tiffany and I said, you know what we need to do? We need to make sure that we set some time aside for the kids now where they're young. Mm -hmm. And, you know, a lot of people are going to say, you got to hustle, 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 work as hard as you can until you die. You know, you can't take it with you. And you have to get to a point where you say, you only need so much. Yeah. Now, I, I think that saying that is, it's, it's a very fine balance because I won't complain where we are. Do you know what I mean? Mm -hmm. I won't complain about where we are. And this is something that Misha and I have spoke about. And I, I, he was in, in at my dining table the other day and he was telling me about some stuff that we're going to talk about later and he's going to elaborate more on later. But I said, Misha, don't go crazy. Yeah. yeah and I said, don't, don't take it too far because I'm just a little bit older than you, but you know, I'm already seeing, you know, uh, keep things within rea within a certain realm and don't get too spread thin because there's going to be a time where you want that time back. Mm -hmm. You want that time back with your loved ones and with your family. So one of the things that really led to me needing to do that was really, like I said, I lost 50 pounds. Mm -hmm. You know, there was a time when we were building Apex. Before Misha and I started that, I was much thinner. Mm -hmm. But, you know, I would go work, you know, real estate financing job down in the Kaiser Southern area. Then I would jump in the car, maybe I'd grab McDonald's, drive up here. Every day, it was four or five days a week, mm. and then spend the weekend up here. Then we would go to dinner at Lindenhof, Lindner, mm. wherever we, we would go to, what, Mamma Mia, we go to uh, all these places, Piston Clausa. 
we'd probably get a schnitzel for dinner and some fries or something like that. Maybe have, have you know, and a couple of years of that, it, it, it takes a toll. Mm-hmm. A couple of years of getting up at six and going to the office and then driving an hour and a half up here, mm-hmm. doing all of that and getting home at one and doing it again. You know, I mean, we had a blast. Mm-hmm. It was fun. I won't, I, won't, I won't ask for that back at all. It was an absolute blast. But you do get to a point where you say, okay, I need to, I need to reel that back in and make sure that I'm healthy. Mm-hmm. You know, and, and I was, you know, I wasn't, I was definitely heavy. You know, if you go back to some of my videos, the first videos I made, you're like, oh my gosh. You know? <laughs> and it's funny. We, still, we made a video explaining the taxi costs. Yeah. Like the 600 LT. Yeah. Yeah. I haven't published that video. Yeah, don't do it. Maybe I won't. I will, and I will like me. I'll title it Two Fat Guys Talk About." <laughs> <laughs> and so you know, so you do. You get to a point where you say, "Okay, I need to take some time." Yeah. And so at this point, you know, I have commitments in the business world that I want to maintain, and I want to make sure we we keep those. But at the same time, a big priority is making sure that family and loved ones are, you know. You don't, you don't look back and, re- and regret that you didn't have that time because you built one more business or you, hey, I can make that much more money or I can mm-hmm. do things like that. I'm still very driven. I still want to do some cool things, but I want to make sure that the kids are involved now. Mm-hmm. You know, I'm at the point now where I'm thinking, 10-year-old son, well, I got to think about what he's going to do. Where should he be that he can be successful mm-hmm. and happy, yeah. right? And happy. I mean, uh, many of you guys will look at, you know, oh, McLarens, you've got Ferraris, you've got cars. That stuff isn't really what makes somebody happy. It's mm-hmm. fun stuff you do along the way, right? It's the yeah. fun stuff you do yeah. along the way, but that's not really the key to it. So I really want the kids to understand, hey, those aren't the things that make you happy. Mm-hmm. Those are just the things that if you're fortunate enough to have, they're just little bonuses. Mm-hmm. And the real happiness is finding a sustainability in your life that works. And so we've, we've done that. We're, we've really been enjoying that. And it's been nice. Yeah, yeah, that's good. Good to hear. Yeah. Yeah. Well, speaking of enjoying and scaling down. I think that's our next topic. <laughs> <laughs> uh, what's happening at Apex? Well, I mean, you know, we, we met as a team and uh, I mean, we've been going over it for years. We, we, we did the taxi, you know, 2018, Misha came screaming in, we got the we taxi got license. license. Let's go you know, for them to the dealership. Exactly. It exactly. Right <laughs> and, uh, you know, so we, we really built up, we got the taxi license, we were doing the rental cars and we had, and it was really neat. It was yeah. a lot of fun. We got to a point where with the taxi, you know, Misha drove the taxi and he came to me one day and said, this is stressful. Yeah, yeah. I don't want to do it. This is stressful. <laughs> it's, it, it's stressful driving the taxi. And, and then it takes a very strict person, a very dedicated person, a very patient person to go out a thousand laps a season driving the taxi, 1,500 laps a season driving one taxi yeah. and have the same conversation 1,500 times. Yeah. But have the same conversation safely, have the same conversation attentive, focused, you know, it, 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 it's, a, it, it's, a, it's a skill. So anybody from any other taxi company watching this, we fully respect you for being able to do that, you know, mm-hmm. it really is. But we got to a point where we're driving a car that's worth 500,000 euro, which is the GT2, which honestly from running the 720S, the 600LT, the 620R, the GT2, what, what am I forgetting? All these, you know, high-end uh, taxis, it was a blast. It was really cool. It was a lot of fun, but we got to a point where I would go drive occasionally, get feedback from the drivers, get feedback from the team, and it was like Disneyland. Somebody had no clue about those cars. They didn't know the GT2 RS MR from, uh, I GT3. don't know, if, if that, if right, that. if that, if a GT3. No idea. Didn't know what Apex was. Well, what are you doing here? Well, we're just on a Rhine River cruise. Tour bus just dropped us off. And then you, you think, wait a minute. If you go back and you find out that 70% of your clientele is that and 30% are what you intended to operate for, you're, as we know, Apex was never a big profit type operation. It was everything was invested back or making it balance. And so what ends up happening is you look at it and you say, if 70% of your operation is running a Disneyland type thing just because they see sales and, you know, oh, ticket office, you lose the motivation to cater to that 70%. Mm which sucks for the 30%, mm-hmm. right? So we went through that and we, we decided not to do tax anymore. Yep. And then ultimately we started going down the same path with the rental cars. Mm-hmm. You know, and so we met earlier this year and we said, you know what, the rental cars just aren't what we want to do next year, which if you think about it, what are we going to do? <laughs> you know, we, we didn't do tax anymore. We had the tax license for two years and we didn't run it. Yeah. You know, I mean, that's a great cost. 
it's a, it's a very large cost to just sit on a taxi license. So it didn't save us money not to run taxi, that's for sure. But the team was less stressed. Mm. The team was like, okay, this is nice. We have a calmer atmosphere here. We're not running around chasing taxi laps and doing all this stuff, and it was really nice. So we met this year, and we said, okay, we're not gonna, we're not gonna run the, the, the rental cars next year. We wanna take it easy. And um, yeah, so I mean, that's ultimately what we decided. Mm -hmm. And along with that, we said, okay, you know, what did we love about Apex, right? What did I love about Apex? What did you love about Apex? And we kind of just brainstormed and shared some ideas of what was possible. There was one option that we spoke about of uh, Misha buying Apex because, mm -hmm. you know, the YouTube is quite successful now. And, you know. Oh, thanks to you guys. <laughs> <laughs> and my main, my main objective really is to have time with family, mm -hmm. you know, and, and, you know, I, I sat down with the kids and said, hey, you know, Misha's wanting to do this and, you know, means that, would, at that point, you know, we have our, our apartment that we've never rented. It's been our space. The kids stuffed animals around their beds and everything. And, you know, they, they said, okay, you know, we can deal with this. And uh, they were ready to go negotiate and say, hey, can we leave a box of our stuff in the basement so that when we come and we rent the apartment that we feel good in it. You know, so you negotiate that with me, so I'm sure it'll be fine. You know what I mean? <laughs> and um, as we went through the process and, and talking about what options you have, now, uh, something that we all need to think about is that you have a creative group of people. You've got mm -hmm. Misha, obviously, you've seen how he's grown in the seven to eight years now, going on eight years that Apex has been here, how the channel's grown, and just even professionally from you know, the Boosty Boris days, I think <laughs> we're at a different, a different stage now, you know what I mean? Yeah. Um, I'll take all the responsibility for that. <laughs> but um, you, know, you, see, you see how that's changed. And um, so when you have this, these creative minds, mm -hmm. you've got somebody like Diana, if you look at the original vlog days, she's funny. You know, she's mm -hmm. outgoing, she's personable, she wants to have a good time, but she's very organized and, and mm -hmm. enjoys people. She wants people to have a good time at the Nürburgring. And those minds need to expand. Mm -hmm. They need to do more. So one of the ideas was, hey, how can, how can they take Apex? How can Misha buy Apex and Misha and Diana and the crew uh, take it further? And so we explored that option. In the end, we decided that wasn't going to be the exact way that we would do it. Um, so... But the one thing that we always did come back to was what we really loved about Apex, and that was the early days. Mm -hmm. you know, we really loved 2017, 2018, little office, you know, Ikea desk that you guys were working off of. But more than that, just a place that people stopped by, a place that people hung out. We weren't doing a ton of business. I didn't mm -hmm. want to know how many rental laps we did. That, you know, we probably did more in a weekend now than we did, than yeah. we did then, you know, in a year. But, um, you know, it was very personal. We were able to sit down and make videos. Someone crashed the car, we'd call them back and stay in the hotel room. We can't do that anymore because it's too busy. Mm -hmm. It's too chaotic. We can't, it got to the point where you can't just do that stuff because it's just so much going on. And so long story short is that we decided uh, collectively that Misha, and again, he's going to elaborate more on this, is going to start something here at the Nürburgring. And uh, I think it's safe to say that Diana wants to do that with you, right? Yeah. And yeah. That's something for him to talk more about. And what I'm going to do is, like I said earlier, my main objective is family mm -hmm. and having time with the family. I want the kids. They've been in here. George is building his, uh, his Gulf 5 uh, wide body. Max is in there watching and learning to weld and you know doing stuff like that. Annalise is coming down and sitting on the chair watching. So I want them to get involved in those things and have a place here that they feel comfortable, that they can learn to do this stuff. Mm -hmm. and learn how to maintain the cars, help maintain the building and do these things. But more importantly, for the whole property, go back to that feeling of, hey, this isn't a huge commerce center. Mm -hmm. This is a place where you can come. I want to put air pressure lines up top where if you're, I don't care if you, I don't care why you're here, stop and fill up your tires. You know what I mean? So I'm going to put air compressors in so that people can put air in their tires. If the track's closed, come down here, pull in and park. Um, I want to build a balcony up off of above the grass where the walls all busted up and looks hideous. But, uh, you know, I want to put a balcony up there to hide the crack in the wall. <laughs> <laughs> um, and, you know, just get some nice chairs, some shade out there, put a, a fire pit. So in the evenings we can do bonfire, you know, we can all hang out, do more barbecues, you mm -hmm. know, just a, a general place to hang out that isn't just about come sell lap, sell lap, sell lap, sell lap, sell laps. Mm -hmm. And I think that's really what I, I'm genuinely excited about. I'm genuinely excited to go that route and to see it go that way. And, um, you know, having you guys, I'm going to be proud of, I told Misha this, I said, I'm going to be really excited to watch whatever they do grow because I know what they're capable of. Mm -hmm. I know from a, a community standpoint, from a marketing standpoint, from a creative standpoint, it's going to be really neat to see, 
you know, what they do. And it's going to be fun to see what they provide for the audience because it's just going to open up more doors, more avenues. Mm -hmm. Yeah, yeah, for sure. Yeah, more on that, I'll tell you very soon. I mean, you already seen a couple of things that we're organizing a track walk. So that's one of the first things we'll focus a lot on events. Uh, I applied for a track day. Nebuchadnezzar found me not cool enough. They didn't give me a slot for 2024. They gave me two. Yeah. Yeah, but luckily <laughs> there are 200 other racetracks in the world. <laughs> Media license canceled for 20 years. Yeah, exactly. Um, no, we want to actually expand and do more out there, not only Europe and other wor worlds. So let's see, because like, like Robert said, I'm creative. I want to try new things like I did in 2019, 2020 by going to Rima's Automobile. I wanted to try new things. And if it doesn't work out, I learned something from it and we're still going to have something nice. So... Uh, but yeah, very much looking forward to that. But on that, more on a separate occasion, stay tuned, subscribe, like, or share, you already all know it. But what's gonna happen then with the rental cars at Apex? Well, I've actually sold this car. Mm -hmm. So I've sold this, um, the M4, we've talked about a couple different things. If you wanna take it for something that he wants to do or not, we haven't determined that. So I'm selling off a couple cars. I'm probably gonna keep one or two just again. Mm -hmm. I wanna keep it fun. If somebody that I know comes by and I really love the red golf, I think it's a pretty car. Yeah, it's so amazing. it might just sit here and, you know, someone says, Hey, I want to do a lap. Like mm -hmm. here, Misha, here's the keys, you know, what I mean? you know, yeah. just something like that. Um, but one of the things that no matter what we do, cause when we spoke about, you know, can Misha take over apex? One of the things that we spoke about being vitally important was taking care of our community. Mm -hmm. You know, we have a, a group of, of you guys, um, from Misha's channels, from Apex's channels, from my just thriving YouTube community, right? Um, two years, yes, I know. Um, uh, that we, I think, would feel guilty leaving in any way, just like, okay, sorry, we're out of here. Mm -hmm. Because we've, we've developed a community that says, hey, they want to do this for us, they want to help us, and we just want people to see, we want to see people come to the Nürburgring and have a good time. So what I've been doing is working very closely with a local car rental company, that has similar cars to ours, similar mods to ours, similar concept to ours, right? And somebody that actually started this business and, and I think is doing a really good job. Mm -hmm. I'm really, it's really fun to see. And so I'm working very closely with them right now to put everything in place so that next year, actually starting this one, once the TF dates are announced. Track day dates are already announced. Track days are out. I don't race, have one. You, have, you have two. I have six. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> um, I'll show you one. <laughs> sure. <laughs> but... You know, because it is so important to take care of you guys and to keep this relationship there, we're basically going to say, okay, Apex's website is going to stay operational. Our ticket system is going to stay operational. You're going to still be able to email us and say, hey, what cars do you recommend? Where should we go? What do we do? And we're going to facilitate, help you get in contact with the right people, with the people that mm -hmm. uphold our standard, you know, uphold our, our ideas. I can tell you that when we put the cars up for sale, we put a couple up for sale, some of the local rental car companies said, no, I can't buy those, they're too nice. Mm -hmm. That says something, that says something. And um, so, you know, they'll just get beat up or we can't run that, it's just not, it's just too, it's too much, you know? Mm -hmm. And believe me, I know that there's a company running a, a 992 GT3 RS, mm -hmm. that's, that's a high caliber car, but in terms of the builds, like on the Cupra, and they're very clean, mm -hmm. they're very well put together. So uh, some of those cars, we want to make sure that you guys can get and that you can actually realize the similar situation. And, and what we're setting up, what's being put in place, uh, facilitates that if someone says, hey, I'm coming over, I want to come to the Nürburgring, we're going to walk over and take you to the car. We're going to come over and see, hey, how's it going? Did you have fun? Pop by. When you get done, come by for tire pressure. <laughs> you know what I mean? And we want to be involved in that still and see that happen. So that really is the goal to, to keep that going like that, mm -hmm. to keep that relationship. In fact, there was a guy from 2018 who posted something, I think it was on a set of course or something, of our 720, uh, 720 taxi, mm -hmm. the first McLaren taxi that we had. And I shared it on Instagram. I said, oh, this guy, his name was James. I said, James, you know, uh, took the 720 for a spin today, right? And he just loved that and he enjoyed it. And today... Five years later, he came to he came to Apex today and hung out for two hours, mm -hmm. and he just chilled. and him Him and his wife were just here hanging out and just you know just talking and having a good time, 
And that is what we want to get back to. Mm -hmm. We want to say, hey, you were, on the, you were on the channels. You have a place to come talk. I'm sorry. There is no way with the, with the number of people and just the turnover and rental car, rental car, rental car, rental car, credit card, swipe, this, that, the other. You and I, when we were here, didn't have time to do anything like that. Mm -hmm. It just couldn't be possible. So we're envisioning a more low-key, but still come by. Mm -hmm. Have fun, talk, chat, talk cars, talk track. 30 people around a bonfire, relax. You know, mm -hmm. that, kind of, that kind of mentality. and Just a central place for people to get together. Mm -hmm. that's, that's the goal. And hotel. The, the hotel will still be open. So obviously that will still be on the website. That will be on booking.com. Hotel will be open. Um, that's really, it's closed right now for winter, you know, uh, we'll probably open dates in January so that people can start staying in January, but it's nice for, you know, Micah, she does the cleaning, just, she, she works hard. She does marshalling during the summer. She does the whole, takes care of the hotel during the summer. It's nice for her. She's got a young boy, take some time off, enjoy Christmas. So we just say, okay, close the hotel. You might get what, five bookings through Christmas. That's not worth it. <laughs> yeah. 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 Cool. Well, it sounds like. I find it amazing plan to be yeah, honest. I, th I think it's going to be really cool. Like, uh, yeah. for, for people, uh, and to be honest, nobody's missing out on anything. If anything, maybe you will start making videos again. I actually filmed a video today. Uh, well, you filmed multiple over the last two years and you never published them. So, Well, I filmed one, I filmed one <laughs> of, of the guys working on the Gulf. It's actually yeah. pretty cool cutting the seals out, cutting the rust out, you know, how it's going back together. And then we're going to, um, I want to do... You know, I'm not, I'm, Misha's the OG vlogger, you know, and it, it's actually really funny. Let me sidetrack. We were doing the video and we said, okay, well, me and Max and I are going to go get dinner now. And well, Ross continued welding and I, I almost put a food shot in just for him. But I was like, I can't do that to him. I can't, I can't take the food shot. I actually started the second channel, filmed my first video today as well. So uh, we're, yeah. we're doing both progress. Yeah. Um, and I started the video with a food shot to do things as of the past, but a bit differently. Wow, that's big. So that's, that's big. Big changes. So I, did, so I did a video with the guys cutting out the sills and talking about what he's going to build. Um, the, the E46 is at Manhiller being painted. And we're going to be away until May. Mm -hmm. So all of this for me, now the hotel is going to be op operational, the referral business, the working on the rental cars. So definitely, please still email about the rental cars. That's no problem. Mm -hmm. But for me physically being here, that's going to start in May. Um, we're going to do the school semester for the kids in Florida and then we're going to come straight here. And, so and Mike's going to become a real Florida man. He's a Florida man. He is. He's a, he's a, I mean, a lot of people are like, oh, this is crazy. He's a gun toting, <laughs> <laughs> gun toting, alligator wrestling Florida man, you know, but, um, but so we're going to do the school semester for the kids in Florida and then we'll be here. And so that's, that's going to take off. But even though the E46, We've got all the parts upstairs. Mm -hmm. Sitting right behind me is the Drenth gearbox for the car. All, everything's here. It's ready to be put back together. Um, but because I want to film the assembly of the car, I want to you know, share that. I said, George, don't build it. You know, don't, he, he was planning to put it together while I was gone. I said, let's just let it sit. Even if it means I don't drive it until September, mm -hmm. that's fine because I want to I wanna video that. Mm -hmm. We've done so much stuff that didn't get videoed or didn't get shared because we were so busy. So let it sit. Let it, let it wait six months. Let it wait five months. When we get back, we'll video it. I want to do some... i got to be careful because I'm not the vlogger, but I want to do some light vlogs, some videos about what it's like to be around here. You know, mm -hmm. I'm going to have the GT2 RS here. I'm going to have the E46. The F80 is going to kind of be my daily driver around the Nürburgring area. The E30 will be here. And so I kind of want to say, oh, you know, the GT2 needs to go get oil change. You know, talk about what it's like maintaining the cars uh, that you drive on the track and just from a more low-key type of perspective, get the kids involved in it. Mm -hmm. And so just make regular videos about that. And of course, I think the things I enjoy are the sit-down talks about, you know, what's this car company doing or what's, that, what's happening there? Or how fast didn't that car really go? Mm -hmm. You know, or, yeah, did the STO set a lap record? <laughs> we still haven't seen that, that lap record yet, have we, Misha? No, I uh, haven't. Uh, I don't think uh, you ever will. <laughs> no, me either. But as well, maybe the, the Revuelto or whatever. We're getting sidetracked. We are getting sidetracked. But yeah, so, so I definitely 100% plan to make some videos. And that's something I want to get into because I really did enjoy it. Mm -hmm. But I had to take a break mm -hmm. because I had to take a break from everything and say, okay, exercise, have time with the family, enjoy some things and say, okay, get back to a place that, that you know, we're not just work, 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 hustle, 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 and, and say, okay, now things are more calm and relaxed and now we can get back into it. Mm -hmm. yeah. Amazing. Yeah. Well, I'm very much looking forward to the. I am, and I'm looking forward to seeing what you guys do. I'm really excited, and 
you know, I'll be at the track walk and any any event that I can, I'll be at, you know, and, and I'm, I, I think it's going to be really cool. If we're doing track day in Dubai, you're coming? Yeah, why not? Bring the GT2 with you. Yeah, I'll bring the GT2. Sounds good. Can I fly it with its wing? Yeah, of course. Just put a jet engine on it. Yeah, we'll build some aero kit for you. Ooh, that's another thing we should... We'll yeah, talk that, about another That would actually be really cool. You guys could come, when we're in Florida, you could do a track day at Sebring. Yeah, yeah. yeah that'd be pretty cool. Yeah, we'll do that. Yeah. yeah. So if you want us to organize a track day in your country, let us know. <laughs> <laughs> if you cannot make it to the ring so I can drive your car or drive with you, we'll come to you. We'll organize stuff there and we'll do something there. It's what I think a lot of people forget and it's something that really we knew from day one is the Nürburgring is not scalable, mm -hmm. okay? So you have a lot of rental companies, not a lot, but a fair amount of rental companies. You have a fair amount of hotels. It's not scalable because you have one track and that is the draw. Mm -hmm. And you can only fit so many cars on that track at one time. And the track only has so many track days available a year. People forget that the Nürburgring truly is one of a kind. There's nothing in the world like it. Mm -hmm. The Chinese can't even replicate this, mm -hmm. okay? It, it really is the only one like it in the world. And Right now, we're in the barn. We're in the middle of the Nürburgring right now. This track is actually, we're 360 degrees around us. We have to drive under the track to get to Apex. And they, between industry driving, between track days, between all the things they do, they don't physically have enough days that the track's not frozen over to get all the requests in. Mm. They could probably double their track days. Yep. They could probably double their industry pool days. And... So it's truly not scalable, and that's what's neat. I'm at a different point in my life than Misha and Diana and the crew are. I'm at a point where I said, okay, I've done a lot. I'm very, very happy. I want to enjoy it. I want to have fun with it. I still want to do things, but I want to kind of take it easy for a little while. Mm -hmm. I'm still young. I'm 40. But I know that there's plenty of time to do other things, and these guys, they're ready to say, hey, let's scale things. Let's do things and, mm -hmm. and do what I did the last 15 years and go for it. And I think that's neat to hear you guys talking about maybe scaling out other places with whatever it is that you guys do, because you will get beyond the limits of what the Nürburgring has. Mm -hmm. The Nürburgring is limited. Yeah. It's amazing. I don't think you go anywhere and be like, that's better than the Nürburgring, mm -hmm. you know? No, but not. We can create a new experience. Exactly. Yeah, I think that's exactly. what, by the end of the day, what's it all about. Yeah. And also, I mean, what's about travel? Travel is a big part about food, you know what I mean? You, you get your food shots and... You get to go different places in the world, drive the, their tracks, and eat their food. Yeah. yeah, why not? I think we'll win. And meet people who otherwise okay. cannot make the trip here. Exactly. For whatever, whichever reason. I think it's been quite a big video, a uh, long video, longer than we hope, because we said, well, we're going to sit down and talk for 10 minutes. 10 minutes, yeah. That's we did probably, that, right? 10 minutes. Yeah, yeah. we did a bit more than 10 minutes. Uh, if you have any questions, both of us are always reachable. Yeah, absolutely. Or at least, like, for these... Don't ask me, like, what's the best car? What's better car, RS3 or M6? Um, for serious things you can always reach out yeah. to us and yeah. uh, especially for Apex when it comes to the services if you want to book hotel hotel still operational yeah. if you want a rental car although Apex may not have its own rental cars some of its cars might end up with someone yes, else's exactly. fleet yep. um, and it will be there will be a collaboration with another company and well taxi you already knew and everything else I think is for the better you can come hang out and uh, do your tire pressures yeah do you fill up your tires man yeah. We'll get pumped up. <laughs> <laughs> and Robert gets to the new videos. Yeah, exactly. Jump jump onto my channel for, you know, yeah. greatness. Get, get 100K. You know what's funny? I, I would have definitely had it by now. You would have, easily. <laughs> yeah. Maybe multiple hundreds, yeah. huh? Okay, but the race is on. My second channel or your OG channel. The thing is... You, you got me all wrong. I just want to have fun. You know what I mean? And I so, know, I know. So for, and and that, that's important, you know. Your channel has grown in a way that's mm -hmm. really impressive. It's really neat to see. And I want to just say, hey, I want good conversation. I want to just take it easy. And, you know, sure, 100K would be neat to see, but it's not necessary. You know, I want to just, I want to do what we want to do and have fun. And for those of you watching that are on, you know, Misha's channel, my stuff is more like this. It's talking about mm -hmm. business. It's talking about things that are happening, concepts, driving techniques. It's not flashy. It's not, you know, it takes, a, I think it takes a special audience to appreciate my, my channel. So, you know, Misha going out and driving all these cool cars and doing fast laps and doing all this stuff. You know, it's 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 exciting, and and that's why personally, I've told Misha before, I miss the vlogs. Mm -hmm. I miss the old style, and that's me too. That's what's I really mean, cool that's about why I'm starting the, second the second one channel. because yep. I want want to do these things that exactly. people otherwise would not be watching because they want yep. to see onboards. And nothing wrong with that. If I put up Netflix, I don't want to see stuff from Disney Plus. They don't want to watch me on Netflix. I get it. 
But yeah. being serious, so one of the things we will do is um, we'll, we'll start to sum it back up. Mm -hmm. um, like I said, I'm gone until May, but when I get back in May, we'll start the summit and we'll start doing some regular stuff on the second channel. Mm -hmm. I think that'll be pretty cool. Yeah, yeah, sounds good. Right, then. Thank you very much. See Guys, you in May. See you in May. See you on the channel, sir. Channels, and, you'll see on the channels. I think Adam my next video, my first video is going to be called Missing Persons Report. Missing Persons Report? Yeah. Oh, that's you. <laughs> <laughs> Looking forward to watching that. <laughs>